Hi, in last video, we covered how to create SAP PTP free uh, account or PTP trial account. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your on-prem system to SAP PTP platform. Uh, if you want to, let's say if you want to access something from your on-prem system, you need to make a connection, secure connection uh, between BTP and your on-prem system, and then you will be able to access resources. As an example, let's say you have an OData service and you want to consume that into an application on BTP uh, or a Fury application, then you need to connect either using uh, direct, you know, uh, public internet exposure, or you can create a, a secure uh, VPN or proxy or reverse and a forward proxy, which is what the cloud connector is and then you will be able to access resources so if you go by cloud connector route uh, the security is taken care by the cloud connector since it connects to btp directly and you don't really need to configure anything and it goes through a private tunnel so you don't have to worry this is a, a, a mandatory step before we could start using our business application studio because if we uh, activate a business application studio we don't have any data source which we can consume and uh, you know uh, we can consume to create a application to create an application so let's get started okay so what do we need we need a cloud connector obviously now there are different ways of installing cloud connector you can install on windows you can install on mac or you can install on a linux if you're not comfortable with linux you can install it on windows but believe me installing cloud connector on linux is really simple so how do we do that? First of all, you can go to SAP tools by uh, uh, typing or by searching SAP HANA tools. You can just say HANA tools download. Uh, this brings us to our SAP development tools. You can search that on this page. Uh, you can go to cloud. And under cloud, if you scroll down, there is option to download cloud connector. So let's go down, scroll down here. Here we have cloud connector and SAP JVM. Now in my case, or rather in general, SAP gives RPM package for Linux system. RPM is uh, for Linux, um, for RHL based distributions, Red Hat Linux or Fedora or CentOS, you can use whatever your preference is. Uh, to make it simple, I have downloaded Red Hat, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and that is what I'm going to use. But if you are comfortable with Fedora, you can use that one. Here, you can download the Linux package, SAP, CC, any uh, version, whatever latest version you have, download that zip file. And since uh, Cloud Connector requires uh, SAP JVM so download the JVM package from here and like I said RPM is for Red Hat Linux so you download RPM once you have these two packages then go to command here all you have to do so here we have those uh, two packages uh, when you download you get a zip you can unzip that just type unzip and unzip and then give sap cc a zip file it will uh it will unzip it and then you will see com.sap cc ui rpm file now installing rpm is not that difficult uh you can do it in gui or you can just type sudo rpm hyphen i and give a file name so before installing cc you need to install a jvm package because jdk or java is required to run uh, cloud connector and that is a prerequisite so run this first this will install in system and i already did it so i'm not gonna run and then again you do sudo rpm hyphen a and then you install the com.sap.ssc this will install the cloud connector now once everything is installed uh, since rhl is based on system md uh, it will create a service which you can uh, which you can uh, verify by running system control uh, status scc scc underscore uh, daemon dot service and you need to put a password because it's sudo this gives you a status so right now it says it's active and running 
that means we are good to access and here it also gives you uh, your host and your port this is what we have to access so that that helps us that that little tip is gonna help so let's go to the browser again there and then uh, whatever we copied let's try to access this so go here uh, go to advance and then accept risk and continue on Firefox Chrome has a little bit different but in, in in a way you just have to accept the privacy warning and you have to continue then enter uh, login with your uh, cloud connector user ID and a password if you are doing this for first very first time then the user ID is administrator and password is manage and if you have changed password or if you are doing after then you have to use your password once you log in system brings you in here where you can see the connector uh, general details and down here shows a sub account details now to configure you need sub account id along with your sub account user id and password along with your user so where do we find this you go to sap btp trial account log in with your user id and a password the one which we created in the last video so let's go to existing sign in and then login with your pre-account id or trial account id now you will get these details here but the cloud connector does not support your universal user login details so for example i just use the universal user id and a password but that will not work here and to fix that what you can do is you can access your account.sap.com uh, url once you log in into your sub account uh, in your uh, trial account open account.sap.com and then select here in the accounts select your user id and under here on the right hand side there's a reset account password this is used for legacy SAP applications and Cloud Connector is a legacy uh, application. So in here, you can set your user ID. Uh, I think I already set it, but I'm going to try if it and save. So the password is changed. And for me, uh, I tried to use password with add sign and it did not work. So I do not use add sign now but if you have if you you know experiencing an issue when you try to log in with your actual user id password and if it doesn't work that means the issue is with that sign just don't use that sign in your password so now we have a password um, we have all the required details so let's go to a trial account again and on this page this is where we find all the details click on uh, ellipsis here go to more details and then copy sub account id this one uh, essentially the tenant id and a sub account id is same but use the sub account then copy there uh, you can also find region there i'll show you but it's east i know uh, it's here amazon web service and it's a us east va so that's the region we selected here you can say display name uh, this is from which sub account you're connecting and then use your legacy your email id and a legacy password which we just changed and then you can fill up the other information if you are behind proxy you need to use a uh, proxy details in my case i'm not so i'm just gonna save and i hope it's gonna work in first shot so let's see once it establishes connection and it did work so great once uh, you see this message connected, you can go back to your trial account, select your trial uh, uh, sub account here. And on left hand side, you will see connections or yeah, connectivity under connectivity, select cloud connectors and you should see your cloud connection here. So it shows uh, is connected with my user id uh, we didn't give any name so that's why it gives a random a name but now we have a we successfully made a connection from cloud connector to our btp account this does not mean we can use it right away 
we just made we just established a connection that does not mean we are exposing anything we are not uh, granting any resource access yet that is why if you see here if you notice it says is connected but there is nothing exposed in here so let's go back to cloud connector again and then we'll say cloud to on premise because that is what we are going to do we are going to consume a service from cloud to our on prem system so go in here cloud to on prem and then add your backend system your ABAP backend system or your S4 HANA system or your SAP Gateway or your process integrator or whatever system you have. In my case, I have a ABAP system, so I'm going to include that ABAP. You select your protocol. Uh, remember, if you're selecting HTTPS, you need to up upload your CA certificate, otherwise it won't work. So to avoid that, I'm just going to use HTTP protocol. Next, give your host name of your internal system in my case it is called netweaver.jam.io and then internal port is uh, mine is 8000 so i'm gonna what 8000 next uh virtual host and port i'm gonna leave it as is uh, allow principal propagation so this is for security i'm not gonna use that so i'm just gonna uncheck uh Hosting a request error, so use the virtual host. Just leave it default. Continue. You can add description if you want. Next. And here you can check this box to make sure your internal system is up and running and your cloud connector is you know able to reach there. So if I say OK, it will show me here. Uh, check result. It says reachable. That means my SAP system is up and cloud connector can reach there. Even though we added this, still um, it shows the system exposed but it says no resources so first step is to establish the connection next step is to expose our system and then the third step is to actually expose a resource or resources so let's go back again cloud connector and under your access control we have this system and down there we have resources so add new resource now if this is your development system, you can expose everything under your root. But if it is a production system, you can specify a, a, a path for a specific service and you can expose single service. Since it's a dev system sandbox, I'm not going to really um, uh, bother. So I'm just going to expose everything and I'll give description, all resources under root and path and all sub path mean, meaning anything uh, under root is accessible now and save. Now you will see status status green here. That means accessible resources are available. And if you go to your trial uh, BTP trial home under cloud connectors, it says, well, the connection has been established. A system has been exposed and uh, resources are available. So that concludes our cloud connector setup. Now we have a cloud connector. What is the next step? Let's use our business application studio and utilize this uh, cloud connector to make a connection to a backend system on our prem on prem system so for that we go to marketplace and here we will select our business application studio service now if if you are um, doing it first time and if you don't see application active you can create by clicking on that button if you have already created, then just say go to application. This will open a new page. And in here, if, if this is the first time, system will prompt to create a dev space. Now you can click on that button create and then you can select what you want to do. In our case, we are going to create SAP Fury. So I'm just going to say this is my Fury dev uh, space. And create dev space you can name whatever you want to name okay so once you see uh, the status is running that means our dev dev space is ready uh, go here and click on fury dev space now this will launch sap business application studio where we will be doing the rest of the development on a get started page there are a few things like you can clone from git you can start with from template or you can import projects you can access files and folders uh, we will be doing that but before that uh, we need to create connection with our backend system so we we have exposed our system and resources but if you go to your trial home under 
destinations you will see nothing here so even though so so far what we did is uh, we um, establish a connection using cloud connector then uh, we expose our backend system uh, to btp then we expose a resource or resources from backend system to btp so far is good but we did not really create a destination to tell uh, let's say business application studio to use that destination because you can have more than one cloud connector more than one uh, system so for business application to use this uh, these backends it needs to know where it has to go and there are two ways you can do that you can create a destination here by you know uh, entering all the information or you can go to your business application studio you go down here there is a service center click on that and then there's a SAP system option here you can expand that this gives you an option to add so let's say we'll add our system from here instead creating in the cloud uh, instead creating in the BTP under destination so let's give a system name our system is SAP NetWeaver enter URL now remember this URL is the URL for your backend system which we have configured into cloud connector so in my case it's SAP NetWeaver.jam.io and I believe I have to give a port number as well so it says I need to enter my a prefix whether it's HTTP or HTTPS so it's HTTP let's use HTTPC HTTP select system type here we are going to say a web service catalog that means uh, 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 this destination uh, will be used for uh, catalog the O data service catalog and you can select whatever option you want to select here so let's leave a web service catalog then we have to specify client so client is 001 uh, the select the proxy now our system is on-premise system and not on we are not going directly through internet so let's select on-premise system and if you select on premise that's when it makes sense to have this url otherwise if we just say internet then the destination is going to look for this url uh, on public internet and since this is a local domain on my uh, local network it will never find it unless you know you own this domain and you know you have configured your system uh, to access on that port but in my case that's not the case uh, this uh, domain the fully qualified domain is purely on network local network so uh, it will not work i know so let that's why i will select on-premise system and then you can specify your authentication here or you can do it when you use a service but since we have option here let's uh, you know enter those details here and then select what kind of uh, product you have so mine is s4 hana it's actually a bap network system but it doesn't really matter what you select select the closest one add now we have uh, the catalog from backend system these are the services uh, coming directly from a backend system and we can use these services to create uh, applications for an example uh, let's say if i pick uh, this service it shows that this service is active by showing green and we can see live data from our backend system so this is our uh, data coming directly from our backend system and if we want to create an application using this we can create project from service you just click in there and then uh, you select fury application and so on and you continue to create application so i will uh, do that in a next uh, uh, session so i hope uh, you know it makes uh, simpler for you to understand how sap btp consumes back in uh, service or how it is connected and how you can consume uh, your on-prem system in sap btp